Today we're going to make a streak plate of bacteria. A uh, streak plate is simply a plate that contains isolated colonies of bacteria. As you see in this plate, this is a plate of bacteria that are, are purple colored. So we're going to transfer um, colonies from this plate to another plate and uh, make a dilution on the plate such that they'll again be isolated colonies. Each of the dots here is derived from one bacterium so we can easily tell whether a culture is pure or not because we can look to see if there are any different types of colonies on there, for instance. When we are working with bacteria, we'll want to use sterile conditions as well. So what we have here is a Bunsen burner which has a flame that um, keeps dust from falling onto our plate and we have an inoculation loop which is a wire loop that can transfer small amounts of bacteria and the loop can be, can be sterilized. Before we work with our actual plate, I'll show you a diagram that um, shows, illustrates the procedure. So we have our inoculating loop here. We'll, take, we'll transfer a small amount of bacteria from one plate and then um, pretending that this pen is the inoculating loop, we'll make a, um, a streak of bacteria here and then We'll simply streak across the plate, not going back to our original higher dilution because we want isolated colonies. So this is an example of, of the sort of streaking pattern that we'll make with the loop. And then what will happen in the end is that we'll have a dilution such that the later streaks will have a high enough dilution of the bacteria such that we'll get isolated colonies at the end. So now we're ready to transfer to do the streak plate procedure. We have a fresh plate here, and what we always want to do is we want to um, put the, the date and the description on the bottom of the auger plate. An auger plate is simply, it's sort of like jello. It has nutrient there, and we can easily tell that this is a sterile plate because there's no bacteria growing on it in contrast to the one we're transferring from. We always want to label on the bottom because the lids can get switched. Oops. If it's wet, you'll want to make sure that the plate is not is dry. So now what we'll do is we have our inoculating loop here, but this was just sitting on the bench, which means that there's bacteria around the bench area. So in order to make sure that we are transferring just the bacteria of interest, we're going to flame sterilize the loop in the Bunsen burner. Once it's orange, this means that the loop is quite hot and there's probably no bacteria living on that, on that loop. And this is very hot. We don't want to directly transfer colonies using this loop right now because the loop is too, too hot. The, the bacteria wouldn't survive. So we're going to cool the loop onto a portion of the plate by sticking it into the plate. And you might hear a sizzle, and that sizzling sound is just the loop cooling off. Now this loop is sterile and ready to use. We don't want to touch this loop to any, any other surface right now um, because that would contaminate it with other bacteria. So what we can do is we can take a small amount from a colony and then we'll do the streaking pattern that you saw earlier. So we start out making a streak here. And then what I typically do is I turn the loop a little bit just to alternate sides, but I never go back over to um, areas that, higher density areas, because we want a dilution of, of the bacteria. So we're streaking in a pattern here, and if you tilt it in the light a little, you can see, sometimes you can see the streak lines. Uh, that can help you find areas that haven't yet been streaked. So that plate is, is now done. And then at the end, we once again sterilize the loop because we just put bacteria on it and just to keep the lab clean. If we store this plate um, in the incubator, you'll want to parafilm it. And actually for long-term storage, we'll want to parafilm it. We do this by taking a strip of parafilm. And parafilm is really fun. You can stretch it across the plate like so, and that will keep the plate from drying out. So now our plate is ready, and if we did this successfully, um, we'll have at least some region of the plate that will have um, isolated colonies on the fresh plate.